What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Swipe Up, the show where I share some of my favorite posts from Instagram. Let's get it going with just uh, a couple things of beauty here uh, from steak videos. Somebody cooking a steak right by a waterfall. Got some rosemary and some garlic. I would imagine some butter. In that little frying pan there on a little camping stove. It's delicious. Delicious. Like, I mean, steak is delicious anyway. I think most of us can agree. Uh, aside from the vegans out there. Uh, but yeah. And just to uh, kind of be able to, to fry up a steak... In such a beautiful place. Um, just, uh, yeah, just amazing. Here's another one, uh, but it doesn't finish. This is a IGTV video, so, you know, if you want to go finish the last 30 seconds, go on over there, but I'm going to tell you, spoilers, looks delicious. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it just makes me want to go eat a steak by a waterfall, you know? It's like, how how hard is life? I mean, that you could be homeless and be doing that. That's like uh, yeah. the one of the most beautiful ways to eat a steak would be right by a, a rushing waterfall. Um, all right, moving on to uh, Frankie the Answer Edgar just started a podcast called The Champ and the Tramp. And uh, I don't know who his co-host is, but um, this is only the third episode, so still getting going. Uh, you know, let's uh listen to a little snippet from uh episode three here. Nah, well, how old are you when you lost your virginity? 13. <laughs> no, yes, oh, shit. yes, 13. I was 15, I think. I was a freshman in high school, 15. so 15, I, guess? I was in yeah. seventh grade. Want to talk about it? I have a really good one, man. Yeah, can you I talk about it? Do. Come I, on, I'm bro. A... I'm I'll spill my guts right now. I would say the girl's name, but I, I know names, doesn't, she no probably names, doesn't want her no name names, no names, no names, no, not too many. Details no, people right are there, married now and got yeah, kids. Yeah, so, and... so um, I was 13. I know people. I mean, kind of a common topic <laughs> when you're starting out a podcast. First off, a little low energy. If I'm going to critique this podcast, a little low energy. Uh, but topic wise, common. You know, you got two dudes on there. You talk about sex, talk about virginity, talk about how you lost your virginity. By having sex. Um, I haven't listened to the episode, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Frankie Edgar. Uh, and uh, I think it's kind of a smart thing for some fighters, especially Frankie's getting close to the end of his career, I'm sure. Um, you know, start parlaying that into uh, doing a podcast or doing something. Um I mean, everybody's trying to do a podcast nowadays, but you know, if it if it works out, I don't know who is who his co-host is. It's tough when you have a podcast and you do it with a co-host. It's it's very similar, I'm sure, to being in a band or being in an improv troupe. Like you're relying on other people. It's tough to do a thing when you rely on other people, and maybe those other people don't have the same drive as you do. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. I'm sure they, they're old friends. And uh, anyway, go check out Champ and the Tramp. I'm sure everywhere podcasts are found. Maybe YouTube is available also, considering this is a video clip. Uh, all right, moving on to uh, another podcaster, comedian, Tom Segura. Just finished up his tour of uh, his Take It Down tour in Auckland, uh, New Zealand. And a surprise guest showed up, uh, so let's check it out real quick. What's up? Uh, thank you, New Zealand. This is the end of the Take It Down tour. Uh, I had a great time here in Auckland. Uh, big shout out to my man. The security. Security guard. <laughs> What's your name? Um, Israel Mobolaji Timitai or Duan Yolua Femi Olavia this one. And I can whoop your motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love Tom Segura. 
I also love Style Bender. Style Bender, Israel Adesanya is just, um, I guess probably he's definitely one of my favorite fighters right now. There's there's a lot of really awesome fighters out there that are just not only like talented, but like fun. You know, Style Bender, Max Holloway, uh, fucking the other ones. Those are the two offhand that I can think right off the top of my dome. But Style Bender's awesome. Um, and it's crazy that uh, he's also a, a Tom Segura fan. Uh, hopefully he'll be on your mom's house next time he's out in uh, California. Um, but yeah, great, uh, great uh, kind of a mashup of worlds there, comedy and MMA. Um, looking forward to Style Bender's fight against Yoel Romero, which finally got booked. Um, yeah, anyway. Moving on now again to another comedian, Tiffany Haddish, for getting prepped to go out on stage. Um, she is killing it right now in movies, stand up comedy. I'm a huge fan of hers and her success. I remember not that long ago, she was on all the Death Squad podcasts, going on tour with Red Band and Tony Hinchcliffe queefing into microphones now she's a superstar from being foster care to her check out her episode with bot on bobby lee's podcast the tiger belly podcast um she kind of goes into it a little bit but yeah she's uh, you want to talk about somebody who's self-made man she's one of them but Super happy for her success. Any movie she's in, I will go see. I don't care how bad the movie is. I will watch it. I don't know if there's a movie out that she's been in that I haven't seen. And they're not my kind of movies. But, uh, yeah, huge fan of Tiffany Haddish. And that's her little pregame before she goes out. Uh, another comedian, Josh Wolf Comedy, posted this on his Instagram. Wisconsin man admits to mixing his mother's cremated remains with marijuana police say my thing is wisconsin loves to put people in jail uh i don't see wh who gives a fuck <laughs> what you do with your parents remains uh i mean the smoking the marijuana i guess is the illegal part in in wisconsin because they you know like to have reasons to put their citizens in jail uh and this is just another one but uh pretty stupid pretty stupid there's a lot of a lot of those states where like you find a lot of people who are like libertarian anti-government people they tend to live in states where like the laws are really stupid like texas you know it's like oh you can have all your guns but like if there's a seed of marijuana if there's like an iota of marijuana anywhere near you you get thrown in jail for like who knows how long um uh, yeah, it's just the it's it's amazing. It's amazing that people live in states that treat them like shit. Uh, hopefully, this guy doesn't have to serve a long time. Uh, now, moving on to the last and final one, Bernie Sanders posting: "The way we beat Trump is with the large the largest voter turnout in history of the country. We win with the campaign of energy and excitement. We are the campaign. I am a huge Bernie Sanders fan. Uh, the fact that he didn't get the Democratic uh, nod." is, in my opinion, the reason why Trump is in office. It fractured the Democratic side of everything, uh, and everybody went in all different directions, and I'm hoping that Bernie Sanders is able to solidify it and win the nomination and win the election, and we can get Trump out of office and not have to worry about stupid shit from from that side of the, the aisle. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of Bernie Sanders, and... Uh, We'll be voting for him this November. Uh, but that's it for this episode. Let's do some shout-outs. Shout-out Exoy Store. Shout-out Steak Videos. Frankie Edgar. Champ and the Tramp. Shout-out Segura Tom. Style Bender. Tiffany Haddish. Jen Rosenstein. Josh Wolf Comedy. And Bernie Sanders. That's it for this episode. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go buy my artwork over at InspiredDisorder.com and save 25% when you use coupon code RTS. Follow me on social media at Ray Taylor. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch!